Hi guys, Robert here. It's great to have you back on my YouTube channel and you're welcome. Today I'm going to share about a painting I've pa that I painted called The Garden of Your Heart from John 6 verse 35. And Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Now with this picture, I come to a, um, it was actually a vision that I had um, many years ago when I would started journeying along with, uh, with the Lord and spending time with the Lord and getting, you know, when you come to the Lord and you're, and you're seeking the Lord for a, um, for your path because the Lord you know before I'd given my heart to the Lord you know the Lord says I am the bread and you'll never get thirsty you know some people they struggle because they're trying to find the meaning of life and sometimes they go out of their way to try and find out the purpose of life they're lost and, and troubled you know I, I was like that I thought if I could do this if I can do that that's the meaning of life for me. And very quickly, when all that started to dwindle away, all the lovely illusions that I had that never come true, trying to pursue the things that I thought were important. Then I'm coming, realising, and when it was all dwindling away and everything was just sort of falling apart and losing the complete meaning of life I had for myself, I come to the Lord, and it was, it was just in time, really, it's amazing how the Lord sets it up, and I come to the Lord, and then, so celebrating and everything like that, inviting Jesus into your heart, you know, asking the Lord to be the Lord and Saviour of your life, in your heart, but never really completely understanding that, well, that's where he's dwelling, the Holy Spirit comes in and dwells within you. And, and you and him. And I remember traveling along the journey with, on a mission and a plan of doing stuff for Jesus was what I was starting to do. And finding it to get difficult as I talked a bit about it. And I remember one day sort of really getting struggling and getting a bit confused. And as I'm sort of like, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm losing my way here. And then all of a sudden I get this picture of this beautiful garden, like I couldn't quite paint it the way I seen it. it was, the colours were brilliant and, and, and amazing. And and I saw Jesus there sitting on the rock and I said, Lord, is that like a garden in heaven? And the Lord said, No, it's actually the garden of your heart. And I went, Wow, because I thought the heart is a, a little place. But it turns out to be much larger. And the Lord said to me, you know, sometimes it would be great if you would come and sit down with me. We'd have a chat. Sort out everything. A lot of times when we start spending time with the Lord, all that confusion starts to go. Spend some time reading. And I found it amazing to sort through the confusion, uh, depression, uh, anxiety, all of that stuff because we've forgotten to go back and sit with the Lord. So sometimes it's great to come and sit with Him. He's in your heart. He's living in you. It's not that amazing. He actually is dwelling in you and you in Him. Anyway, I pray that this has blessed you and I just thank you for joining me. Any questions or any ideas that you have, please send a message. And thank you for liking and subscribing. It really encourages me. God bless. See you on the next one. Bye.